We are happy to introduce the all new Elix Cloud, a new way to interact with your digital cockpit. Elix Cloud is available for free for all Elix navigation devices with Wi Fi or cellular network capability. This includes Elix Zeus with EOS 80, ERA 57, or ERA 80 volumeter, Colibri X, ERA 57 or 80, EOS 80, Helios 80, all as standalone volumeters, Flarm Eagle Next Generation, Iris FS Pro, among other to come in the future. Elix Cloud is available as a web application on cloud.elixnavigation.com. It's also available as an application for iOS and Android. Please go to App Store or Google Play Market to download the latest version of the app. We will show the usage of Elix Cloud in the web browser, but the same features are available in the application as well. This tutorial is based on the initial version 1.0. Some new features might be available when you are watching this video. Elix Cloud is based on the latest Google Cloud technology and uses advanced safety features. The whole communication between the cloud and device is done by a secure and encrypted communication line. Same applies with a connection towards third-party services. To start using Elix Cloud, you should first create a free account. Please navigate to cloud.elixnavigation.com and enter registration form. Enter all the details. We will enter demo.pilot at alexnavigation.com. Select a secure password that should be at least eight characters long and remember the password. Uh, all other fields are optional. Uh, we will just fill them in. Select country and confirm you have read the terms and conditions. Wait for the confirmation email. Now log in to your account. On the left side uh, of the screen, there is a menu item to navigate to different subsections of the platform. Your entry point is always a dashboard. Dashboard gives you an overview over devices you have connected with your Elix account. We distinguish between two different types of devices linked to your Elix Cloud account. First is own devices and second is shared devices. If you are an owner of a plane, your device should be listed inside the first section. Own devices. To add a new device, press Add button in the top right corner and please enter serial number and cloud ownership ID. To get both of them, turn on your device and go to Setup Service Device Info. Serial number and cloud ownership ID should be listed there. At this point, you can add other co owners by writing an email address of users you want to share this device with. This is especially convenient if you own a plane inside a syndicate or a club, so multiple pilots can have same permissions as owner of a device. Device owners and administrators are able to synchronize databases for turn point, airspace, airport, flyer netlist. They can also see all the sync flights from the device, whether the flights were flown by a regular user or by them. If you enter email address of a user that have yet not created an Alex account, an invitation email will be sent to this email address. Once registered, the device will be immediately available inside a newly created account. You can revoke ownership if you sell this plane or a device by going to settings of a specific device and pressing button to remove a device. This is important as there can be only a single Alex Cloud account listed as an owner of a device. However, there can be multiple users listed as administrators or just regular users. Now we can check how an owner can manage the device. Open database page and select files from your computer you want to use on a device. You can have multiple files stored inside your Alex Cloud account, but only a selected files will be synchronized. There are some limitations in the number of different files that can be synchronized. By selecting Sync FlyerNet files, Edit Cloud will take the latest FlyerNet file from the FlyerNet website. This way, you can make sure that you have latest database on your device. Once happy with your selection, simply turn on your device 
make sure you have an internet connection and enabled database synchronization. This will automatically download database files onto your device. You can also manually trigger this procedure by going to set up cloud and synchronize database now on every device. If you're flying in a rented plane or in a club or in some other shared environment, you can still use most of the functions of the Elix Cloud. The procedure that follows should be done also by owners. So anybody flying with Elix Cloud capable device should go through this process. Turn on your device and go to Setup, Pilot, and enter a cloud ID inside the pilot's profile on a device. This will ensure you can use specific services on your device as they are linked to your individual user account. Now ensure you have a valid internet connection and the linked device should appear in the shared devices subsection of your dashboard. You can also check cloud info page on your device to see if your account is authenticated. On this page, you can also check all the services that are available for your device. More about services later. By pressing the logbook button, you can check all the flights synced from your device. As an owner, you will see flights from all pilots flying the plane. Otherwise, you will only see your flights. You can filter the view in the top by selecting all or my flights only. As you can see, Helix Cloud is trying to count all the flight time and flight count from the flights you have done. If you do not start with a plane that is brand new, you can enter current offset for the flight time and count inside the settings of a specific device. This way, the flight time and count will reflect an actual status of a plane. By pressing info icon, you can preview the flight path. There are some tools and map layers that can be used for simple flight analyze. If you want to send some of the flight to an email or other services we support, simply select flight you want to send and press send to. Select the service and that's it. Simple. Before you can use some of the services, you should configure them in the service page. Elix Cloud is able to start an over-the-air update. When a new update is available, Elix Cloud will send a device information regarding a new file. User will be presented with a pop-up asking to perform an automatic update. If confirmed, the system will start the update procedure and restart the device once finished. The update file procedure is the same as it would be done manually and traditionally via an SD card, but does not require any password. Our the air update is available for all devices except for the Zeus. In case of Elix Zeus, a user is presented with information regarding a new version. And then the user should go to our official website to download the latest version. Please use traditional update procedure with the usage of an USB key. Some services require a paid subscription. These are third-party services. To get a subscription, simply create a proper account with a service provider. Once created, enter required information to link this service with Alex Cloud account. All Alex navigation services are free of charge. To add a new email, simply insert it and press Add. By selecting Automatically Send Flights to Email, Alex Cloud will send all flights synced from a device to all listed emails every time you sync a device. This is especially convenient at competitions, as you do not need to do anything after your flight to bring the file to the competition office. In this case, also enable an auto-sync of flight on your device. If you want to use OLC flight upload, enter same name, last name and birthday information you use on your OLC account. Activate the service and optionally select automatically send the flight to OLC. This will send every flight to OLC in the same manner as we have explained in the email section. To use WeGlide, create a WeGlide account and press login WeGlide button. You will be redirected to a special WeGlide page where you can confirm that Alex Cloud can access your WeGlide account to upload flights and take declare tasks. If you enable this, Alex Cloud will push WeGlide tasks to your device. You can later modify them on your device or start flying them right away. Enable automatically send flight to WeGlide to send all flights directly to the WeGlide, same as we have explained in the email section. 
Weather services are available only for Elix Zeus devices. Rain Raider. This is a free service with global coverage. It's at the moment available only when your cloud ID is used on Elix Zeus with EOS 80, Era 80, Era 57, and you have an active internet connection. If the service is enabled, Elix Zeus will try to get the latest Rain Raider information for your location. This is done periodically every 10 minutes. Elix Zeus will download information for the last one hour and will animate the images. This gives pilot ability to judge the speed of the approaching weather. With settings in the weather section, user is able to adjust how this information is visible on the screen as an overlay on the map. This Rain Raider is for reference only and it's not official information. SkySight is a paid service. Please register your account at SkySight to enable the integration with the Elix Cloud account. If you have a valid subscription plan, please enter the email address used on the SkySight. Elix Cloud will check your subscription and if it's valid, will show you the latest forecast data. This data is divided into regional data. Please download daily weather file and store it on your USB. Bring USB to your Zeus and go to Setup Weather to upload the weather file. Please note that due to the size of the regions, download might take some time. I hope this video gave you a good insight about the Elix Cloud. Have a nice time using these tools and have a nice flight. For more information, visit elixnavigation.com, check other videos and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.